I should have changed this camera battery. Hold on. Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, as you can see by the title of this video, it was supposed to be the first episode of my new series, A Book and a Beat, where I sit here, do my makeup, and I talk about a book with y'all. And at the end, I'll tell y'all if I would rate it and compare it to a TV show. So, there's one issue with that, as you can see right now, my makeup's already done. Um, I created the entire video, got to my brow, no, got to my lashes, put in my lashes on, and realized that I just didn't record a entire part of my makeup step. So yeah and the video really wouldn't have gave for real so i just decided to finish my makeup and then come back on camera as i'm cleaning up my little station and doing the finishing touches on my makeup so yeah um that video so no next episode will be the full um makeup and a beat video from beginning to end of my makeup process um and for every video i'm going to have a themed look to go with the book so yeah um i'm just about to put the finishing touches on my makeup and retell y'all about the book <laughs> so the book that i reviewed was called outdrawn by danae gray um this book was a uh, enemies to lovers about two comic book artists that um graduated college together they really didn't like each other in college they really didn't get along and then now they are on the same team at this big college book um firm publication place um and it's like they're forced to talk to each other so that's basically how they fall in love um i have no shows that would remind you of this but um i would recommend the marvel series because they are comic book drawers like they're comic book artists so it fits into the comic book theme and the the comic that they are working on together is really based on the black panther i would say she's based on like the female version of black panther in a way so it was great that i was able to make that connection um they both are black women um, it takes place in florida um the main character sage she um identifies to be bisexual while her counterpart noah identifies to be a lesbian um this was my first um sapphic romance i've read um a book before that was like lgbtq friendly like two of the characters were lgbtq identifying but they weren't the main focus in that book but it was a good change for me to see them as the main focus um i also loved the side characters like noah's best friend i believe her name was maya i loved maya um maya reminded me of my best friend so it gave me the familiarity i believe that's the word um of reading a book so yeah i really enjoyed it um my favorite scene would be the scene where they went to the carnival with their co-workers and they had to like break up in the buddy system and they went into the photo booth together um i'm from the midwest and being that i believe one of the characters were catholic it reminded me of when me and my friends were <laughs> when me and my friends went to our catholic school's carnival um i will be doing story times about when i went to a all-girls catholic school <laughs> 
being that um, me and my best friend from that school have known each other for about 10 years now or going on 10 years so I will be doing um, story times about when I went to a all-girls Catholic school um so it just made me feel you know comfortable I guess you could say um it was a really quick read I want to say I'm a fast reader and this was the first book that I read on my Kindle y'all I got a Kindle for Christmas let me just fangirl out for a minute I got a Kindle for Christmas I've been a paperback girl through and through like I would always get a book in a paperback but I asked my parents for a Kindle I have been talking about a Kindle for a minute like I told my parents I was like look if y'all don't give me a Kindle then I'm gonna just save up my money from work and I'm gonna buy a Kindle y'all they got me a Kindle for Christmas it's it's right here okay this is my Kindle it's the Kindle Paperwhite um, in blue I have ads I need to call Amazon to get my ads removed somebody remind me at a later day um but this is just like an ad or whatever y'all see it's in blue i'm a blue girl if you if you're new to my channel i'm a blue girl okay like i'm a i'm a blue girl so she's blue and then okay my sticker says when in doubt blame carol baskin um i'm also a true crime girly so <laughs> look tiger king was one of my favorite shows during the pandemic and then it's this little meme that says hold up i send my friends this meme all the time and then i'm i'm a drake girl so i got this drake meme um but i will be doing a video all on my kindle sooner or later like probably like a one month update um i'm gonna be doing more book videos for you guys so yeah um i'm doing this is going to be the last two books that i read on kindle so the last book that i read on kindle i finished it i want to say two nights ago um yeah because after okay so yeah I, this is my second book finishing on kindle okay so it was called once your mind by morgan bridges so this was a dark romance book um it wasn't my first dark romance book no it wasn't my first dark romance book um I honestly don't know what my first dark rom don't rom uh, what I honestly don't know what my first dark romance book was, but I will be doing a video about dark romances. So stay tuned for that if you want to become one of those girlies. Um. Anyways, <laughs> so where was I? Okay. Yeah. So her name. Oh, it was called What's Your Mind by Morgan Bridges. It was the second book that I finished on Kindle. Um. I don't think it was the second book that I started but it just took me a long time to finish it because it honestly has a lot going on again I don't know if this was my official like first dark romance book I don't think it is technically like I I know for a fact I read something that was like dark romance but it wasn't this dark oh um, no okay i did read another book it was called scream for us that's dark romance but it wasn't this dark maybe because scream for us took place on halloween so it's like you assume it to be a little scary but this it was like this was their real lives so it starts off and we're at a senator's funeral and we are in the point of view of Hayden and Hayden is the main male character 
So Hayden is watching the senator's daughter at her dad's funeral and he's confused as to why she's not crying but why she's consoling a lot of people around her. So one, that was kind of weird. And two, it was raining outside. I don't want to stand outside in the rain to begin with but I'm not going to stand outside in the rain at somebody else's funeral. Oh, and also in that chapter, we found out that Hayden was the one that killed her dad. Yeah, so she tells, you know, they meet or whatever. His first, well, no, it wasn't his first time meeting her. It was like his second time. But like, that was after he introduced himself, right? He assaults a guy, like, beats this man up because he offended her and her job y'all i was i was shocked i was i was taken aback because not you assaulting people at my job because they disrespected me and then didn't want to say sorry it was just giving a lot so i was like okay whatever we're just gonna go for what go for it for what it is so that's what we did we went for what it was and it did not disappoint um but one thing that i didn't understand so she had this pearl necklace and he broke into her house a second time because the first time he broke into her house he installed cameras so the second time that he's breaking into her house he's stealing her pearl necklace breaking it and then leaving one on her nightstand so then she realizes oh i have a stalker so she tells her homegirl at work and she's like i have a stalker and then her homegirl is like oh call hayden her homegirl wanted her to get with hayden the whole time so she calls hayden and she's like look i have a stalker so hayden was like okay well i'm gonna give you this phone because she didn't have a phone he was like okay i'm gonna give you this phone and whenever i call you need to answer so she said okay so they're texting and the phone no they're not texting so she's at work the phone shows up to her job so she turns it on and she already has a text from hayden like hey text me back when you get this so she texts him back and they're talking or whatever and you could tell homegirl is flirting but she really don't want hayden to know that she's flirting for real so she's just doing everything that she can to not look thirsty and i love that for her don't look thirsty so it does look y'all this is my thumbnail picture <laughs> this looks so cute um anyways so yeah and then y'all at the end she ends up getting pregnant by him and moving into his house and little does he know little does she know he's he was her stalker and her dad's murderer and now he's trying to help her find her dad's murderer um there is a part two but i have no idea if i'm going to read part two because this was a lot but shows that i would say reminded me of this is most definitely you off netflix joe did whatever he could to keep his girl and i love that for them. so if you guys enjoyed this video um i promise the next video will be longer because I will have more to talk about because I will be doing my makeup and I will be talking in full lengths about a book but this one was just two short books in one video so let me know if you guys enjoyed this video um let me know if you have any book recommendations for me or if you want to see me review um any book or if you want recommendations of any certain book any type of books i read mostly all books comment it down below and i will make sure to add it to my list um i will see you guys on wednesday bye bookies